Uh, Neil Carlson here on the phone with me and Superintendent John uh, Mouse of the uh, Thompson School District where uh, COVID, like everywhere else, has sprung up. Uh, you had a kindergarten class hit pretty hard? Yeah, we had a positive case that we were informed of on uh, Sunday morning and then uh, just felt that we had to act fast. And, um, you know, with those kids being five years old and um, kind of their first experience with school, uh, we just kind of determined that the whole class uh, would be uh, quarantined as we as we kind of investigated to try to do the the contact tracing. Um, you know, obviously the older they get, the little easier it is to understand and then stay apart. But at that age, it was it's fairly difficult, so that was kind of why the decision was made. So, how many kids and the teacher all together, and how long are they quarantined? Yeah, it'd be uh, 24 students and a teacher, and they're quarantined and able to come back on. Uh, Monday, September 14th. Their uh, quarantine actually ends on uh, Friday, the 11th, so they're uh, able to go out that weekend, but they, uh, they'll be back in school the 14th. Well, we're going to, I guess, see what happens to school districts around the region. Do you think this is kind of going to be a problem all year long? Oh, yeah, I would imagine. I, I mean, we we were able to, we felt comfortable starting on our regular date of August 20th, uh, you know, still have the plexiglass and masks and have uh you know, sanitizer on the building. and I feel like we have a good plan in place, but it's uh, kind of something you knew that was going to happen. I think we're we're probably the first school in the area, so we're getting some uh, media attention right now. But certainly, uh, you know, we already saw one in Fargo yesterday, and as the bigger school districts open, it's it's going to be uh, kind of a ongoing problem for all school districts in the, in the state. Uh, how many kids in your K through 12 there? Uh, we have 608 students which is the, the biggest enrollment we've ever had so you know we feel good about having all these kids in there but we are uh, uh you know we have uh, limited space and and a lot of kids so uh, in a typical that, year that's a, that's a good problem but uh now when we're trying to keep them apart it's definitely a challenge okay is that kind of the plan if uh, one student or teacher in a class tests positive the whole bunch is quarantined well no no i think for that that kindergarten class it was probably the right choice now um you know we need to emphasize uh, again with our teachers of keeping those apart um I, I would imagine if it was uh you know 7 through 12 grade uh we're, we're able to space those out we have seating charts and all our kids it's just that there's a better understanding at that age so it doesn't necessarily shut down a whole class if there's one member in there okay Me meaning you could do a little more uh, contact tracing uh, yeah it's a little easier and we you know we have all our classes set up in pods and and uh so it's it's yeah. The older they get, out of it, the easier that's going to be for us to to uh, manage that and contact trace. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with this, and everybody else is everybody has to deal with this this year. Uh, thanks for talking to me. Yep. Thank you.